The B-21 Raider is a new high-tech stealth bomber being developed to replace the Air Force's aging bomber fleet. Designed to be a long-range, highly survivable, and capable of carrying a mix of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad as a visible, flexible nuclear deterrent, supporting national security objectives and assuring our nation's allies and partners. The U.S. Air Force has stated plans to acquire at least 100 aircraft. Some defense analysis believe that the Air Force should plan to purchase at least 200 B-21s. Northrop Grumman's B-21 Raider will be unveiled December 2nd at the company's site in Palmdale, California, marking the first time the world's first sixth-generation aircraft will be seen by the public. When delivered to the Air Force, the B-21 will join the nation's strategic triad as a visible and flexible deterrent, supporting national security objectives and assuring the nation's allies and partners. When it comes to delivering America's resolve, the Raider would provide the Air Force with long-range, high survivability, and mission payload flexibility. The B-21 will penetrate the toughest defenses for precision strikes anywhere in the world. Here are 10 key facts about the Northrop Grumman's B-21 Raider. Number 1. Sixth Generation The B-21 Raider benefits from more than three decades of strike and stealth technology. It is the next evolution of the Air Force Strategic Bomber Fleet. Developed with the next generation of stealth technology, advanced networking capabilities, and an open systems architecture, the B-21 is optimized for the high-end threat environment. It will play a critical role in helping the Air Force meet its most complex missions. Number 2. Stealth Northrop Grumman is continuously advancing technology, employing new manufacturing techniques and materials to ensure the B-21 will defeat the anti-access area denial systems it will face. Number 3. The Backbone of the Fleet The B-21 Raider forms the backbone of the future for U.S. air power. The B-21 will deliver a new era of capability and flexibility through advanced integration of data, sensors, and weapons. Capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads, the B-21 will be one of the most effective aircraft in the sky with the ability to use a broad mix of standoff and direct attack munitions. Number 4. A Digital Bomber Northrop Grumman uses agile software development, advanced manufacturing techniques, and digital engineering tools to help mitigate production risks on the B-21 program and enable modern sustainment practices. Six B-21 Raiders are in various stages of final assembly and test at Northrop Grumman's plant in Palmdale, California. Number 5. Cloud Technology Northrop Grumman and the Air Force successfully demonstrated the migration of B-21's ground systems data to a cloud environment. This demonstration included the development, deployment, and test of B-21 data, including the B-21 Digital Twin, that will support the B-21 operations and sustainment. This robust cloud-based digital infrastructure will result in a more maintainable and sustainable aircraft with lower-cost infrastructure. Number 6. Open Architecture to meet the evolving threat environment, the B-21 has been designed from day one for rapid upgradability. Unlike early generation aircraft, the B-21 will not undergo block upgrades. New technology, capabilities, and weapons will be seamlessly incorporated through the agile software upgrades and built-in hardware flexibility. This will ensure the B-21 Raider can continuously meet the evolving threat head-on for decades to come. Number 7. A National Team Since contract award in 2015, Northrop Grumman has assembled a nationwide team to design, test, 
and build the world's most advanced strike aircraft. The B-21 team includes more than 8,000 people from Northrop Grumman, industry partners, and the Air Force. The team consists of more than 400 suppliers across 40 states. Number 8. Sustainment Long-term operations and sustainment affordability has been a B-21 program priority from the start. In partnership with the Air Force, our team has made maintainability an equally important requirement to stealth performance to ensure we're driving more affordable, predictable operations and sustainment outcomes. Number 9. Global Reach the B-21 Raider will be the backbone of the U.S. bomber fleet and pivotal to supporting our nation's strategic deterrence strategy. In addition to its advanced long-range precision strike capabilities that will afford combatant commanders the ability to hold any target, anywhere in the world, at risk, it has also been designed as the lead component of a larger family of systems that will deliver intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, electronic attack, and multi-domain networking capabilities. In a dynamic global security environment, the B-21 will provide the flexibility and deterrence critical to the security of the U.S. and our allies. Number 10. Raider The B-21 Raider is named in honor of the Doolittle Raid of World War II, when 80 airmen led by Lt. Col. James Jimmy Doolittle and 16 B-25 Mitchell medium bombers set off on a mission that changed the course of World War II. The actions of these 80 volunteers were instrumental in shifting momentum in the Pacific theater. This marked the raid as a catalyst to a multitude of future progress in U.S. air superiority from land or sea. The courageous spirit of the Doolittle Raiders is the inspiration behind the name of the B-21 Raider. B-21 Raider frequently asked questions. Why is the B-21 named Raider? At the 2016 Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference, the Secretary of the Air Force, Deborah Lee James, announced the B-21 would be named Raider alongside Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole, the last surviving airman of the famous Doolittle Raid. According to the Air Force, the Doolittle Raiders are known for their surprise attack against Japan during World War II on April 18, 1942, which forced the Japanese to recall combat forces for home defense and boosted morale among Americans and U.S. allies abroad. James and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein selected the name from more than 2,000 naming submissions. What role will the aircraft play? As adversaries continue to invest in and develop advanced weapons, the B-21 Raider will provide the United States with a strategic asset capable of penetrating enemy air defenses and reaching targets anywhere in the world, something approximately 90% of the nation's current bomber fleet is incapable of doing. Why does America need a new stealth bomber? Currently, only 10% of our nation's bomber force is capable of penetrating advanced adversary air defenses. As our adversaries have continued investing heavily in sophisticated technologies and weapons platforms that leave them free to act maliciously or extend their reach, a new bomber is critical to deterring potential adversaries, reassuring allies, and keeping our nation safe. In a War College podcast, combat strategist and retired Air Force Lieutenant General David Deptula said, The B-21 will provide the kind of payload, range, and penetrability that our current force of B-1s, B-52s, and to a small degree, B-2s cannot accomplish. Which bases will host the B-21 and when? The U.S. Air Force identified Ellsworth Air Force Base, AFB, South Dakota, Dyes AFB, Texas, and Whiteman AFB, Missouri, as potential hosts for the B-21 Raider. Ellsworth AFB has been selected as a preferred basing location for the first B-21 main operating base and formal training unit, and Dyes AFB as the alternate. A final decision is expected in 2021 following compliance with the National Environment Policy Act and other regulatory and planning processes. The Air Force has selected Tinker AFB Oklahoma to coordinate maintenance and sustainment of the B-21 Raider 
and Edwards AFB, California, to lead testing and evaluation of the aircraft. The Air Force has stated it expects first aircraft deliveries in mid-2020s.